run and compete with my border collie Zappa and we compete in dog agility and what that is is running your dog through an obstacle course and the obstacle course is numbered you get to walk it um, before you compete and then figure out what you're gonna do and then you get to run it with your dog dog agility got started in 1978 in Britain the Brits were the first people to uh, show it off and I think it was at a dog show it might have been at Crofts but I'm not sure and um, so and ever since then it kind of slowly built and uh, took off and now it's probably one of the fastest growing growing dog sports um, in, in the world I'm going to the Netherlands in April to compete with 19 other teams from Canada uh, at the IFCS World Championship and so the uh, uh, the 20 teams are going there and um, we're going to be competing against the best of the best um, from all over the world. Uh, herding breeds tend to do very well in agility because they were bred to take direction from their human. Um, there, but there's all sorts of different breeds that do agility. Everything from Papillons to Great Danes, it, it, all sorts of different um, dogs do it. There's a whole bunch of different obstacles that the dogs have to do when they're running an agility course. They have weave poles and jumps, tunnels, a shoot. Uh, there's contact obstacles like the A-frame and the dog walk. And um, basically you have to train your dog to be able to do these competently. I started taking classes in 2000 and I started competing with my very first agility dog, a little border terrier in 2002. Now I'm uh, competing with Zappa and he's six years old uh, he's a border collie uh, he's pretty fast he's very athletic um, i love running him and he loves the game 